Mm. Problem six. A 30 meter length of coaxial cable has an inner conductor that has a dia diameter of 2.58 millimeters and carries a charge of 8.1 microcoulombs. The ceramic conductor has an inner diameter of 7.27 and a charge of negative 8.1 microcoulombs. Assume the region between that conductor is air. Okay? The reason they say air is because if you put something that's not air in the middle, it changes the uh, cap uh, capacitance. It's uh, referred to as a dielectric. All right, so I'm going to draw a picture to start with because that's pretty much what I do every single time and I don't see any reason to change. Oh. That's a poorly centered coaxial cable. All right, and then it goes on backwards, but I'm just looking at it like head on. All right, so we're going to have trouble with the trick that we did last time uh, with the last problem because we already knew what the voltage was. This time, I'm not quite sure what the uh, what the um, potential is for a infinite line. Um, I do know what the electric field is, though, which, uh, which is something everyone should have memorized. K lambda over R. Let's see here. Yep, I'll say k lambda over r. So, to turn, they don't give us lambda though, but they do give us a total uh, charge. So I'm going to say that lambda is, let's see here. Actually, wait, nope. 2 lambda k over r. Hmm. I should check that one real quick. You should have this one memorized. Google.com. Electric field. Due to an infinite line on axis. Due to an infinite line. There we go. Electric field of infinite line charge. Yep, 2k lambda over z. Got it. All right, so lambda is a small bit of charge over a small bit of distance. But in this case, I'm going to say that we're going to do all the charge and all the distance. So this is going to be 2qk over r times L, which is whatever the length is of the coaxial cable, which they gave us. So, okay. So then, I'm going to use the idea that potential equals negative integral, negative integral of E dot dr. So the integral of this guy, everything will be constant, except for the R which it'll be the natural log of the start versus the beginning. So I'm going to call that uh, R1 and R2. Call this guy R1, this one R2. So natural log of R1 minus R2, or R2 minus R1. I'll say R2 minus R1. That will give us a positive natural log. And then when you subtract natural logs, you can then rewrite it as a uh, fraction of them too. So this is natural log of R2 minus natural log of R1, which we can then combine as natural log of R2 divided by R1. It's just a log rule. Okay, so now we got the potential. So now they asked us for capacitance, right? Capacitance. Okay, so we know that capacitance, oh, capacitance, it does feel like capacitance to start with a Q. It does not in any way. It's Q over V. We know what V is going to be. So we're going to have Q. And then instead of writing that out, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, which will basically just put the L on top. And then we'll have 2Q 
q, k, natural log, r2, r1, there we go, q's cancel, and that gives us, oh, I was right down here, Oop. l, 2, q, nope, that's a k, that is a k, r2, and r1. Huh. That's actually reasonably written. <laughs> Good for me. All right. So we have conquered the capacitance. So the way I did that is I basically knew that we had c equals q over v, and then I just started working through it as I can. Um, for most of these problems, you kind of get an idea of what ingredients you're going to put in, what formulas. So you look at the formulas that you're going to put in. They mentioned, they mentioned uh, uh, capacitance, so you want that formula. They mentioned voltage, so you want the formula for that. Um, you put it all in a box and you shake it up, and then you look at what you got. If it isn't, it's not what you want after you start shaking it, shake it up again, and wait till the right thing falls out. It's kind of hard to go into these kind of problems with a, uh, a goal in mind. Okay, what is the capacitance of the cable? All right, so they actually want us to find it. Boom, boom, boom. All right, so 30. Okay, I can do this. 30 divided by a whole bunch of things. One of them was 2, one of them was k, which is 8.99 times 10 to the 9th, times natural log of 7.27 divided by 2.58. And I'm going to leave off the millimeters because when you divide like that, they cancel out. Hmm, I probably should look see if I actually got 2K natural log. Okay. 2K natural log. I got 1.61 times 10 to the negative ninth. 1.61 times 10. Yeah, I'll see. All right. Which is 1.61 nano. Which is this? Oh, well, that actually works out. I thought I was going to have to convert it to pico. Excellent. Good for me. Good for me. What is the potential difference between the two conductors? Okay. So we know that C equals Q over V. Oop, oop, oop. So V equals Q over C. Okay. Let's see, what do we ha got for 8.1 times 10 to the negative sixth? And then we have 1.6 times 10 to the negative sixth times 10 to the negative ninth. Nope, negative third. Six, negative six, negative three. I did that so they cancel out well. And I'm going to put the 10 to the third on the top. And, oh, I'm just going to kind of wing this because I think I almost, can nope, I'm not going to. Is it 8.1 divided by 6? Nope, 1.6. 5. I'm going to call it 5. So this becomes 5. That 10 to the third is basically a kilo. So I'm going to call it 5 kilovolts. More or less. Yep. And that's how we do this guy. So this guy, again, the basic idea. Don't know what to do. Start by drawing a picture. Uh, write out the definition for capacitance. Uh, we know what Q is, but we really don't need it yet. Um, we know how to rewrite voltage. So we rewrite voltage in terms of what we know about uh, electric um, fields in terms of a uh, charge and an, uh, length. So we could have we could have simplified that to a. Um, actually, we couldn't here because we needed the Qs to cancel. Hmm. So in this case, if you had simplified that to uh, just a lambda, you'd have had trouble getting one of the Qs. To, eh, you probably could put the Q back in. It doesn't matter. This is the easiest way, um, and either way would have worked. Uh, and then you just you just grind through it, and eventually you get to an answer. All right, sounds good. On to number seven.